Good morning. It is Tuesday morning, October 8th, and it's time for Morning Mercies with Pastor Big Al. I'm Pastor Big Al, and I have my Bible with me this morning. I also have a cup of coffee in my Jerusalem cup. Minding us to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Uh, yesterday, I, I began a, my, my thought this week about worshiping in the Spirit. And it would be great if we could worship in the Spirit, uh, especially on, on Sunday, uh, that we would come together and we would worship in the Spirit. But uh, in, in reality, we'll, we'll not be able to worship in the Spirit if we, if we don't do some other things first. And uh, this morning, I want to talk about walking in the Spirit. We'll never be able to worship in the Spirit if we haven't been walking in the Spirit. In Romans chapter 8, uh, verse 4, it says, in order that the righteous requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. And in other words, there are, there are more than one path that you can take in life. There, there's, there is a uh, path or a road that, that you can take that has everything to do with, with the flesh and, and what it means to be human, uh, the physical and then there is a path that uh, has everything to do with the direction of God's Holy Spirit. In Galatians chapter 5, verse 16, it says, But I say, walk in the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the desires of the flesh are against the Spirit, and the desires of the Spirit are against the flesh. For these are opposed to each other to keep you from doing the things that you uh, want to do. And so there, there are two pathways. And one pathway is your desires of the flesh, and the other pathway is the desires of God's Holy Spirit. And Paul says, walk in the Spirit. But he really concludes this in chapter 5 of Galatians, verse 25. He says, if we live by the Spirit, let us also Keep in step with the Spirit. Now, others, other translations will say, you know, follow the, the Spirit, walk in the Spirit. But the English Standard Version says, keep in step with the Spirit. Uh, it, it, walking is a, it's an exercise. Walking is, is, is rhythmic. We're, we're, we're in a rhythm. And keeping in step means to not run ahead but keeping in step also means to not lag behind. If, if we're going to live in the Spirit, let's keep in step with the Spirit. Because if we do, then we won't be concentrated on the things or the path of the flesh. Let me have a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for your many blessings today. Thank you for your, your guidance that the Holy Spirit is to be our our guide. And as we, we think about worshiping in the Spirit, I know that we can't just show up to worship in the, in the Spirit. We have to walk with the Spirit just to get there. And so I pray that you help us walk uh, with your Spirit this week. Guide us in all that we do. Uh, may we pray these things today in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you guys for watching. I do pray y'all have a blessed day. An amazing day.